I'll well, do this video about templates that's in Bootstrap Studio. So we've all seen these ones. So when you go to New Design, you've got these few here, about a dozen of dozen templates. And what I wanted to do was to see if they actually validate on W3 Validator. So I've actually put them up online. So if we go here, and we've got the admin template. So we go to this one here. And we've all seen this one before on Bootstrap Studio. When we when we open it up, we see this one here because that's not there. Um, so that's what it looks like actually online. So if you just copy and paste this, go to W3C Marco Validation Services. And I'll put the link of this in the uh, description. And we just go control V. So just wait a few seconds for that. Right. So we've got a one at the top, which is about language in the HTML thing where you just do that. It's, it's it doesn't really do stop anything and then the ones that are really uh, worse are the error ones so we have errors um, on the second line down there it's about avatars um, so how many have we got we got 15 errors 14 errors and one warning that's not that's not the end of the world that but for someone like me i like clean code I, I i really do i like everything's right and the the browser that's really weird on these things is firefox and if you get a slash that's wrong and things like that a forward slash and it's supposed to be um you know a backslash and things like that they, they really are a bit weird on that um it'll still work you know as as was you can see there I mean it still works but you know that when say if you work with somebody else I mean I, I would like something clean when I've had people show me stuff and that and you know designers and that and sometimes you come back in absolute state then they're a mess the coding's a mess and everything like that so we'll do another one I've got I put two of these up here and you've seen those of you who have like the newer versions of Bootstrap Studio, you would have seen all these before. Um, right, template, I'll just put this as a template. And again, I'll just open it. And this one here, so this one is this one here. So that really looks very good, really. And right, we just go and do that again. We just go to, we just copy it, the address, and then we stick it into web validator. Let's take away the features bit there. We just go to HTML. So again, the warning about language is there at the top, which means really not a lot. And this one here has only got four errors and one warning. So that's that's not really too bad. All these, I think, are to do with images. Yeah, SVGs, JPEGs. Yeah, all these are, you know, these, these are quite simple to fix. When you go into, say for example, we'll go into um, Bootstrap Studio, and now we know where the, the numbers and things like that are of the validated errors. And um, the problem is with Bootstrap Studio and other things of the ilk is they're not numbered, you know. So you've got your code here and it's, uh, it's absolutely not numbered. Nothing's numbered. When you have an editor, say for example, I use Tweak Style a lot. 
so you've got all your numbers on the left hand side so when you see that when you when you see things like on code and validation and that you can go straight to the line and then you call them and then you you're able to correct the mistakes um and the the thing about w3 validator it's people like me who who think it's necessary and um they used to have years ago they used to have a little badge thing you could put on your website this has been w3 validated and i actually mentioned this about five years ago on this channel um i'm still of the, of the when the the problems lie is when there's a new technology and people are trying new technologies and w3.org uh, cannot they're, they're not up with it so it hasn't become like a, a, a so that will come up as errors even though they're, they're just brand new beta things like you know css animations and that that used to when they first came out and that they wouldn't they would show up as errors even though they're not really errors however these templates these have been around a long time so in reality you could say well you know that they shouldn't be there does it affect seo search engine optimization google say probably not um i don't use google as much as i try and stay away from any spy or anything like that of google i don't agree with anything they do um so i use like brave and with tall with brave as well so um does it affect it i think it may not but the the, the thing is it's always best to have your code that's that's spot on and clean and beautify is our beautifier on tweak style which uh i'll just show and it goes down there and you beautify your code and you know it, it, it looks smarter if you were working again collaborating or something like that everybody would know where they are so i hope you've learned something from this and uh thank you for watching